Meghan Markle was deeply interested in luxury items and free gifts, even before she met Prince Harry. A source shared some tea, re freebies and Tyler Perry housing. Let's get into a screenshot from Markle News on Instagram. Going over to the screenshot, the person who posted the comment is anonymous, as you might expect. The post read, Someone had asked me to spread this news. A friend of mine works for a very, very high-end designer brand, and she'd related a few things I wanted to share. Have you ever wondered why the Duchess wore such ill-fitting clothes on this fake royal tour? Well, let me explain. Meghan has been trying desperately for the past four weeks to get freebies and designer clothes from every fashion designer or brand. Unfortunately, due to previous issues of returning certain items, especially jewels, they weren't able to lend Meghan anything, even until she landed. Meghan thought she's still getting freebies, etc. Well, she found out the hard way that there was no delivery to her upon arriving. We managed to send one small package, which was sent back. The address they gave us in England, the house they're supposed to be staying in, had rejected the package and said no one by those names lived at that house, castle or mansion. It had a forwarding address, which was Tyler Perry's house. Everyone thinks they're staying in the house they used to live in, but they're not staying there, they're staying at Soho House. A rumour has it that Meghan is terrified of losing her hair. She doesn't want Harry to spend a single second with his brother without being present, because she's scared that she's going to lose him. In all honesty, I believe their marriage is rockier than it's ever been before. They're really heading for a divorce now. This is what's going around in California anyway. So we can safely say Meghan received a lot of freebies while working for the royal family, but now it's different. Also, she's been accused of not returning certain items, specifically jewels, so now no one wants to lend her anything. She always had the same excuse, it got lost in the mail or not my problem. She even went as far as calling staff unprofessional, uneducated, and that they must have kept the stuff themselves. This is really badly written. But if true, the reasonable conclusion from this is that they neglected to change Frogmore's forwarded address to their new one in Montecito. That would be a big oversight. But if the past couple of years taught us anything, it's that these two don't run a tight ship. The clothes being ill-fitting is quite apparent. As to Tyler Perry's address, maybe it's based on the address they provided. Perhaps they never bothered updating their address with their former house address. There has been speculation that Meghan and Harry weren't the actual buyers of the Montecito Olive Garden in 2020. Lady Anne Glenconner had the same experience when she tried to send a letter to Frogmore. Returned with residents unknown. Author Tina Brown reveals the Duchess of Sussex used her blog The Tig to get her hands on freebies from high-end designers for promotions. She won a reputation among the marketers of luxury brands of being warmly interested in receiving bags of designer swag. One major part of the book details exactly how Prince Harry and Meghan completely underestimated life outside the firm. Speaking to the Washington Post, Miss Brown revealed the Duchess remained persistent on her old habits even after meeting the Prince. Meghan couldn't resist everything that was on offer on the celebrity buffet. She added, they wanted to be able to have a commercial arm to their activities. Meghan certainly saw deals that were there to be made. However, they had to leave them on the table because they were part of the royal family. Talking about Megxit, Miss Brown revealed of Harry, I really think Harry wanted out. Meghan gave Harry the tools to leave. She understood the world of agents and deals, celebrity. I mean, this wasn't Harry's world, but suddenly he had in Meghan a very worldly strategist who he decided to trust above all his other advisors.